Is Iran getting ready to attack Israel? At the same time, Iranian national documents and philosophies do specifically call for the destruction of Israel. Thus, these comments from Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps Major General Hossein Salami align with the kind of well-known, consistent anti-Israel rhetoric coming from Iran. Hossein's comment were also filled with hints and suggestions that his force may have been behind a recent explosion at an Israeli plant for advanced weapons, according to a news report from Al Monitor. Israel, the report specifies, said the blast hurt no one and took place during a routine test. Hossein made many references to Israelis' supposed vulnerabilities to domino-style attack, according to the report. While easily dismissed as a hyperbole in many respects, Hossein's remark as quoted by the report introduced a few interesting things to consider. For instance, Israel is without question very experienced when it comes to the realm of missile defense, given its recent history, as it deploys systems such as Iron Dome and other kinds of ground-based systems. This reality might seem to make Israel less vulnerable to Iran's large arsenal of ballistic missiles, some of which potentially able to reach Israel, should they be maneuvered within range. Israel is about 1,000 miles from Iran, a range which is just at the outer limits of the striking distance of most long-range ballistic missiles. The distance between two countries speak to another, even potentially more pressing issue, such as how Iran could actually get close enough to the Israeli border to launch an attack. Iranian ground forces would need to travel through Iraq or Turkey or somehow cross the Persian Gulf area to deploy on the other side of the Arabian Peninsula. Any approaching Iranian force would, it goes without saying, be highly vulnerable to the Israeli air attack. Therefore, apart from the concerning prospect of Iran at some point having nuclear weapons, there do not appear to be a wide sphere of which Iran might actually be able to attack Israel with any measure of success. Unless, of course, Iran were to employ terrorist tactics, something by no means beyond the realm of possibility. In fact, a small, covert, hit-and-run type of terror attacks may be the kind of thing Hussein was referring to by hinting that several targeted strikes could bring down Israel. Added to this equation is the well-known fact that Iran has been and likely continues to be a state sponsor of terrorist organizations.